Hello, you are watching Unipro Eugene podcast, where we discuss the hottest topics introduced by our users and show the helpful ways of using Eugene, a free cross-platform genome analysis suite. Hello and welcome to another Unipro Eugene podcast episode. The new Eugene of version 1.9 have just come out. Originally, we have planned to release Eugene version 1.8.1, but there were so many new features included that we have decided to call it 1.9. In this video, you will learn about Eugene cloning in silico support capabilities, performing complex sequence analysis with Eugene Query Designer, and more. Since Eugene version 1.9, we support some useful cloning in silico capabilities. After installing the latest package version, you are provided with automated fragment digestion and new molecules construction tools. The Digest into Fragments tool allows you to digest your sequence into fragments on basis of restriction analysis results. Restriction site search settings are available from the same dialog. Also, you can use existing results of such a search. When the fragments are found, you can construct a new molecule using them and the Construct Molecule tool. The results are saved as annotations and automatically displayed on your screen. Another big innovation of this release is Eugene Query Designer. The Query Designer plugin allows you to analyze a nucleotide sequence using different algorithms, repeat finder, or finder weight matrix matching, etc., and at the same time imposing constraints on the positional relationship of the results obtained from these algorithms. The constraints are specified by query schema that can be designed in Query Designer window that is similar to Eugene Workflow Designer window. Let's consider this schema that contains an ORF region surrounded by two repeat units, so that distances between the ORF region boundaries and the repeats region's boundaries will not exceed 5000 symbols. The search algorithm parameters can be specified the same way they are specified in the Workflow Designer. When the schema is ready, I press Run Schema and use it on a particular sequence. The search results are saved as annotations and can be automatically displayed. The found results match the designed query. Using cloning tools and Query Designer video lessons will be available in the next podcast episodes. The external tools support plugins functional was extended. There are two new external packages that we support, Blast Plus and TCOFFEE Multiple Sequence Alignment Tool. The settings page itself was improved. Now there is a description for every executable file, including its actual version. And if I specify an incorrect file or version, for example, blast x instead of blast n, then an error message pops up. In the new Eugene, when the system has a new message for you, it will be displayed as a pop-up. It is always possible to see the full notifications list by clicking the notifications icon at the bottom right corner of the program window. By clicking on this message, I can see its detailed description. It says that the specified executable file was invalid. By keeping remove this notification after closing checkbox checked, I remove this message from the notifications list. This is the new notification system, which we hope will make Eugene experience simpler and more efficient. The GPU computations enhancements. Since 1.9, Eugene supports the OpenCL library that makes Eugene GPU computing available on different platforms. You can use resources of your video card to perform such algorithms as Smith Waterman on Windows, Linux and soon on Mac platforms. 
Logging settings were enhanced. Customize which message you would like to receive with ease. The Dotplot plugin tool palette is extended with the new instruments and overall working experience was improved. Zooming. There are three new tools for zooming operations, zoom in or zoom to selection if there is one, zoom out and reset to 100% zoom. But also, you can zoom by rotating mouse wheel and pointing mouse cursor at the desired direction. In this case, the dot plot will be zoomed, and the center of the zoomed area will follow your cursor for more accurate zooming. Also notice that repeat selection become more accurate as well. Selection tool. In this mode, you can make selections on the plot by dragging the mouse cursor. The corresponding selections will automatically appear on the sequences views. In case of comparing sequence to itself, two selections will appear on one sequence view. And the new hand tool allows you to move the zoomed plot by dragging the mouse cursor. A new language for describing Eugene workflow and query schemes is introduced. It's used in the new file formats UWL Eugene Workflow Language and UQL Eugene Query Language. You can read and change files of these formats. It's a human readable text format, unlike the former UWS format, which is binary. All the workflow samples and command line schemes are now converted into this format. You can find the Eugene Workflow Language manual in the documentation on our site, and soon we will provide you with a video tutorial in this podcast series. Since now, Eugene Genome Aligner tool allows you to save the index file that is built for the reference sequence. Next time when you align short reads to the same reference sequence, you can use this pre-built index. This can make DNA assembly really fast. There are two new features for multiple sequence alignment editing. To see the first one, right-click on a nucleotide MSA area in the MSA editor and select Export – Export Amino Translations of Alignment Rows to export the selected rows or the whole alignment into an amino alignment. The translated alignment is saved and can be automatically opened in the current project. Also, you can replace selected rows with the reverse complement ones by selecting the corresponding context menu item of the selected rows area. These are the new features of the current Eugene release of version 1.9. You will find such significant additions as Query Designer, Cloning Tools and Workflow Query Language. The features themselves will be covered in the next Eugene podcast episodes, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And, as always, we will appreciate any responses about our product sent by email to eugene at unipro.ru Thank you for watching!